Hey guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional, and uh, we started a study yesterday from James chapter 1, verse 2, that says, Count it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith will produce patience, and let patience have her perfect work, causing you to be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. Um, we kind of bro broken this down in a couple different sec sections, so if you didn't get Monday and Tuesday, make sure you go back and look at those uh, passages. I want to pick it up now from the part that talks about the testing of your faith. Now, it says, count it all joy, my brother, when you counter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith. In other words, when the trial or tribulation comes, you and I should be aware of the fact, guess what? We're going to have our faith tested. Well, here's the cool thing about having our faith tested. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, uh, chapter 11, verse 1, it says, it is impossible to please God without faith. And he who comes to him must know that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So you and I, it's impossible to please daddy without faith. So we need to use our faith. Well, when will we use our faith? Well, if you notice over here, we read this yesterday from Romans. Let me get there. Romans chapter 5 and verse 3. Uh, where it says, and not only this... But we also glory in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces patience, patience character, and character hope. So we see here tribulation produces something. What does it produce? It produces patience, character, and hope. Now watch this. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So that means that we need a trial. Why? Because trial produces hope, but hope doesn't get anything done because it doesn't say that uh, it's, it's impossible to please God without hope. It says it's impossible to please God without faith. So here this trial produces hope, and now we take our hope and apply our faith. See, now there's the testing of the faith. We apply the faith, and that pleases our Father. Does that make sense? It's very simple. Back it up. Look it. I want to please my dad. So how do you please God? It's impossible pleasing without faith. We need to be people of faith, so we use our faith. But faith doesn't work without hope. Well, where does hope come from? It comes from a trial and tribulation. That's why we can count it all joy, my brethren. Well, look also with me. I'm going to look in a different translation here. In 1 Peter, I'll go to my phone here. In 1 Peter chapter 1, and starting with verse 6, it says this, Wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. Dig that? Yes, yeah, sometimes it creates a real heaviness when we have to go through these trials and tribulations. But it goes on to say that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Did you hear that? The testing of our faith, listen to this, um, uh, that the testing of our faith is more precious than gold and, and silver. It's more precious. Why? Because it pleases Dad. You and I need to understand this. This trial and tribulation that you're going through right now, friend, is not there to destroy you or, or cause major problems in your, in your life. But if you'll begin to count it all joy, and you look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, and use your faith to please Dad, and, and understand that faith is the substance of that thing that you're hoping for, you'll get through it. Remember yesterday we said no temptation has come, come upon you that's not common to man. And God is faithful and will not allow you to be tempted above what you can handle. And within that same temptation, he makes room for escape. Why? Because he, he wants you to be able to bear it. All of these things we need to apply to our lives and live them and allow God to manifest, manifest himself through them. Remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him we'll see, and serve him. And we'll see you tomorrow.